Look at this, guys. Look at what I found. That, right there, let me get in closer, if I can get in closer to it, is a moth. You know my hand is shaking. Let me rest that up against the wall. You see the legs? And the back? And the antennae? I don't want to get too close. I don't want to bother it, because usually during the day they don't fly. But you see the legs? Right there are the legs. Let me use the zoom. I don't want to get too close to it. I don't want to harass it too much. Yeah, look at that. I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. Yep, that's the back side of the moth, right there. If I can get on top. Can you see it? Isn't that really neat? I think that is a really neat little little moth. Look at that guy. Let me see if I can get get in closer if I can tell. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, that's what it looks like from top side. I believe these are a type of tulip tree moth. And if I can look at the antenna, I can tell you if it's a male or female. Um, can't see the antenna. Let me see if I can use, see them in the viewfinder. I'll probably be able to tell later after I watch, watch it again. But I really like the legs, and I like the way they curl up and look like this because they look... They try to look like part of the tree that they are on. I believe these are a type of a tulip tree moth. They have those funky little wings. These are common up here in Northeast PA. And it looks like they have like those fuzzy little legs. Where'd it go? Hold on. See the legs? Sorry, guy. Girl. Whatever you are. You can see the legs, the legs right there. Isn't that really neat? He's like right outside the door. There's a whole bunch of other moths up here too. There's a moth on the light. And there's a moth right there. And there's a moth right there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember what kind these guys are. I know it's a tulip tree. Well, where'd it go? Right there type of a tulip tree moth, but I don't know exactly. It has a funky wing like that, and it curls up in the back side. Most moths do not have mouth parts, so they don't eat. They only eat when they're larva. Look at the wing. Look at that wing. Now he's fluttering a little bit because I'm bothering him. Her, it. You can see the dot right there. It's really neat. The bats eat these a lot, so this guy survived last night. Pretty decent that they... I'm going to pause this for one minute. I want to take a peek up top. Yeah, so that's really neat. I think... I can't really tell. I, I would have to get up higher and look over top to look at the antenna to see if it's a male or a female. Yeah, too many years of 4-H doing this. Oh my gosh. But that's really neat. And there's one... I don't even know what that one is. I'm going to hang on to the light. Oops, sorry. One just flew away. And there's that little guy underneath. And then this guy. And then I don't see any more on the wall. This is right outside our door. I think there's... Is that a moth? Yep, yeah, that's a moth right there. Type of moth. They look like little. Okay, I'm not gonna say it. What the birds leave behind. But that is really neat. That's what I saw when I came out. You can't even tell. It's like camouflaged up against the wall. Usually they're up in the tree, like I said. Really neat. That's a really neat little guy. You keep saying that. It's really neat. I'm gonna check and see if there's any more back here. <sighs> Let's see what this is. Oh no, that's from pollen from the tree, but this is the backyard here. Oh. Uh, 
What was that? I smell something funky back here. Yeah, these are my plants. Those are all empty. Yeah, I gotta throw that out. Oh, they dug everything out, these guys. That was from Mother's Day. I just put it outside. Yeah, my Dickie's cups from Dickie's Barbecue. This is the yard. Those are grape leaves. Uh, grapevine, wild grapevine. <coughs> I'm gonna go check underneath and see if there's any caterpillars. Usually there are some. See, this guy was wrapping around right here. Growing on. It's this branch right here. <coughs> you can see some moths flying under there. This one's probably choked off. I'll have to cut that. But these guys grow wild. I'm going to check underneath, see if I can find any caterpillars. I do see some. These are from last year. I can probably cut those off. That branch is probably dead. But here's some grapes coming out. They're late. Really late. And normally we have caterpillars over here. Somewhere. By now. I think. Well, that I'm not going to touch. I don't know what that, where that's coming from. This guy might be choking it out. That's amazing. Wow. Really neat. That's sassafras right there. These guys right there. The sassafras. <clears throat> As well. There's a maple. This guy's a maple. I always check to see if anybody's eating on there. Somebody was eating on here. So those caterpillars. Probably rosy maple moths that I don't even see. They're the ones that are yellow and pink. don't remember what kind of tree this guy is. I always check. I'm looking to see. It looks like because we had a cold spring. Some of it. It's just weird. I haven't seen anything like that. Let me see what that is. No. Not sure what that is. Okay. And then you go back here and we have a ton of bramble, as we call it. It's a mountain laurel right there. Should be a flowering. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh. Hold on. Let me check back here. I don't want to get too close. Yeah, here's some bramble right here. This guy looks like it got choked out. I'm... This is part of the grapevine, or what this is. I have to come back and pull this out. Yeah, this is bramble. There's the flowers. Really neat. Yes, sassafras. Little baby sassafras leaves coming out. I don't know if you can see them up there. Yep. Yeah, I think a lot of this got killed off, but this stuff grows wild. You can see the tree. And then the vines grow up the trees. I'm going to have to start pulling some of this junk out. That's the back window. My ferns, the old steps, more grape leaves up here. This is great. A lot of the people up here in PA make wild grape vine, wild grape vine wine. Say that ten times fast. Here's some blackberries. Wild blackberries are in here. Pull these out. You can see how far. <sighs> Hold on. Pull this over. You can see them all. They're growing together with this. Some of this is going to have to get cut out. I mean, they're just growing together. Really neat. Yeah. That's part of the bramble. I'm looking to see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, you can see more in here. Wild blackberries. 
All the kids years ago would love to come back here and just pick these suckers when they were done. Normally they would be done by now, but since we had such a late spring, I don't know what that is. Like a different kind of tree growing back up there. Let's see. Something just flew in my face. Yeah, look at these guys. That's my back window. Some of these are going to have to be pulled out. Hi. Neighbor's cat. Hi, honey. Where are you going? Well, she's always around. She doesn't bother anybody. Yeah, so that's the garage. where we put the shake out all the guinea pig stuff back here. That's some old stuff from when the house was built. I've never pulled that out. Neighbor's house. I don't want to film that. Not allowed. Yeah, this little house was built uh, for my mom to feed the cats. kind of funny because you sit here at night and you watch and the raccoons are the ones that are eating it and the possum and the skunks and everybody else but not the birds but not the cats the birds too during the day I'm bothering them because they're up in this big giant pine tree this pine tree was about my height when the house was built. This is one of those soft pines. They're really soft. I forget what the kind of pine, but you can touch the needles. They're really, really soft. They're long. I know there's birds living up in here. That yeah, a little tour of the yard. Backyard, not the front. I'll do that next time, but I was really fascinated by that moth because I haven't seen one in a long time. Still there. They'll probably fly later on. They're usually inactive during the day. And they're active at night. So it got here to the light at last night. And a couple more up there. I'm not going to bother them. Okay, guys. So this is a little tour. Talk to you later. Bye.